Governors from coastal states issued public calls to get their own carve-outs from a new administration policy opening up coastal waters around the country for offshore oil drilling. The push came, after Florida Republican Governor Rick Scott, a favorite of President Donald Trump, secured a special waiver for his state from Interior Secretary Ryan Zink. The Interior Department oversees vast federal, lands and resources and oversees leases to private drillers. New York doesn't want drilling off our coast either, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo tweeted Wednesday. Where do we sign up for? A waiver at Secretary's Inc? Plus forum guide.d.equals i 6816 f 92 a 145 d 7 cd one src equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pics slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 20 slash 47 fcf one at 00057852559943 image a 12 underscore one five one five six one seven three two nine five nine eight dot jpg height equals 446 width equals 634 Alt equals the Trump administration last week gave the okay to oil and gas drilling off U.S. coastal waters, though many coastal governors, balked class equals blocks bordering share, greater than we cannot afford to take a chance with the beauty, the majesty and the economic value and vitality of our wonderful coastline, said South Carolina's Governor Henry, McMaster. Advertising in read invented by Teeds the administration will not allow drilling for oil and gas off the coast of Florida after urging from the state's governor, Zink said on Tuesday. I support the governor's position that Florida is unique and its coasts are heavily reliant on tourism as an economic driver, Zink said in a statement. As a result of discussion with Governor, Rick, Scott and his leadership, I am removing Florida from consideration for any new oil and gas platforms. President Trump owns the Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida. Plus forum guide. D. equals I 83A 88B 7C 8F 73C 7C. NRC equals HTTP colon slash slash I. Daily mail. Co. UK slash I slash pics slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 20 slash 47 FCCFF 90005785255943 image A 14 underscore 15156173939594. JPG height equals 779 width equals 6. 634 alt equals President Donald Trump makes opening remarks as he holds a cabinet meeting in the cabinet room of the White House on January 10, 2018 in Washington, class equals block sporter, im share, greater than plus forum guide. D. equals I 75971FFD 6A9C3 FA 7 SRC equals HTTP colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1 slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 20 slash 20156505255 Five five nine four three impact a underscore worker underscore uses underscore a underscore suction underscore hose underscore to underscore remove underscore oil underscore washed underscore assure underscore a fifteen underscore one five one five six one seven four three oh seven nine eight dot jpg height equals four hundred nineteen width equals six hundred thirty four alt equals impact a worker uses a suction hose to remove oil washed ashore from the Deepwater Horizon spill. In Beltaire, Louisiana class equals block sporter. Im share, greater than the Trump administration last week proposed opening nearly all U.S. offshore waters to oil and gas drilling, a move aimed at boosting domestic energy production and which sparked protests, from coastal states, environmentalists and the tourism industry. The administration's decision on Tuesday removes from consideration a portion of the eastern Gulf of Mexico, an area that oil drillers have, said they are interested in exploring, but not all of it. Florida state waters extend three nautical miles from the shore on the Atlantic, and nine nautical miles on the Gulf side, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Scott last week announced his opposition to the drilling plan and said he had asked to meet with Zinc. Zink's decision to exempt Florida from offshore drilling leaves the door open for other governors opposed to offshore oil and gas development to seek a similar prohibition for their states. Oceana, an environmental lobby group, said it was pleased that Zink had removed Florida from areas open to drilling. Such a quick reversal begs the question, will the Trump administration give equal consideration to all the other coastal governors from both parties who overwhelmingly reject this radical offshore drilling plan? Oceana campaign director Diane Hoskins said in a statement, Plus 4, 
imgi.d.equals i471 e7 e a 9c174994 src equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 20 slash 47 c21371 0005785255943 expansion drilling underscore is underscore already underscore happening underscore off underscore the California underscore coast a 20 underscore 15156174487 jpg height equals 434 width equals 634 alt equals expansion drilling is already happening off the California coast including at Refugio State Beach and Delita but federal waters would see drilling permitted under the plan class equals blocks border and share greater than on Twitter several governors attorneys general and lawmakers representing coastal states ask zinc to extend the exemption for Florida to their coastal waters. The governors, of New York and Oregon and the attorneys general of Maryland and California were among those who called on zinc to ban offshore drilling. Environmental groups Greenpeace and the League of Conservation Voters called the move to protect Florida political ploy meant to bolster the governor who is reportedly planning to run for an open U.S. Senate seat. President Trump has directed me to rebuild our offshore oil and gas program in a manner that supports our national energy policy and also takes into consideration the local and state voice. Zink said in Tuesday's statement. Zink said last week that the department's draft National Outer Continental Shelf Oil and Gas Leasing Program for 2019 to 2024 would make over 90 percent of the Outer Continental Shelf's total acreage available for leasing to drillers, a national record. That would reverse the Obama administration order placing 94 percent of the Outer Continental Shelf off limits to drillers. Obama's 2017 to 2022 plan would be replaced by the new program when it is finalized. Trump signs executive order for offshore shore drilling in May. Loaded, 0% progress, 0% 0 00 previous play skip live immu 00 00 current time 0 00 slash duration time 3 42 full screen me text video quality 576p 540p 360p 270p foreground, white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan, opaque semi opaque background, white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan, opaque semi transparent transparent window, white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan, opaque semi transparent transparent font size 50% 75% 100% 125% 150% 175% 200% 300% 400% text edge style none raised depressed uniform drop shadow font family default monospace serif proportional serif monospace sans serif proportional sans serif casual script small caps default stun minimize expand close the effort to open previously off limits acreage in the Atlantic, Arctic and Pacific Oceans comes less than eight years after BPPLC's Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, the largest in American history. The disaster caused billions of dollars in economic damage and led the Obama administration to increase regulation of the industry. The Defense Department has also raised concerns about opening drilling that had been banned off the eastern Gulf of Mexico, where military exercises are held. Reporting by Eric Beach, writing by Eric Walsh, editing by Leslie.